Where were the minions from 1933 to 1945? Indeed, a very intriguing question. Well, you see, I'm a myself a history professor at Harvard University, and among numerous historical questions I've uncovered, like for instance, what was Napoleon's actual dick length, and the numerous historical debates I uncover in my second channel called Dream, when I talk about unsolved history of Herobrine, just until recently, the answer to this question still remained in the dark. So firstly, let's start in the beginning. People in the Universal Company said that in this period the Minions were stuck in an ice cave, but that doesn't make any historical sense, since we do have Soviet reports from this period that report of Minions being sighted testing chemical weapons on Manchurian villages in the name of Japanese God Emperor from April 29, 1901 to January 7, 1989. So obviously from 1901 to 1989, the Minions could not have been in an ice cave, they were active. Recently, a very respected history professor from Punjab University of Pakistan uploaded on his YouTube channel Shitbot420 a recording from 2003 that was found in a former scientist apartment. Okay, I'm allowed to say this, but the word has to get out there. This has been bothering me for years that I finally found the answer. Where were the minions from 19? 1933-1945 People at Universal say that they were stuck in an ice cave Open your eyes people Think millions of minions can't get out of a stupid ice cave? Bullshit They were serving Hitler They were an integral part of his operation They knew everything They were involved in everything They came up with the Auschwitz plan well, this is a very bold statement, but indeed, if the Minions did serve Hitler in this period, it could be the missing puzzle in our World War II chronology, and it could provide an explanation to many events that until this point could not be explained. So the first evidence we are going to review is this picture. Now guys, just take a few minutes and look closely at this picture over here. Now listen, you must be on super crack cocaine or crystal meth if you say to me that these characters are not the Minions. Now just for the record, these pictures show the actual soldiers that have applied many chemical weapons on the prisoners in the camps. You know what, it really does something to a man, knowing that all the funny memories we had watching funny minion movies were all actually created by war criminals. The scientist from the recording was later found dead, apparently from suicide, as the scientist was found with five gunshots in the back of his head. Well, at least this is what is written on the file from the Department of Justice of the United Kingdom. We have a lot of other documents that prove that the Minions served Hitler in this period. For example, we know that the 39th SS Panzer Division Minion were one of the most dangerous and fanatical German division in World War II. They participated from 1939 to 1945 and served in every major front, last seen garrisoning Norway in March 1945 before disappearing. Contrary to popular belief, the Minions can speak normally, but they do have their own code language which consists of several languages. Do not let anyone into their plan. It is very easy to reach to the conclusion that Hitler and various other villains were nothing but puppets for the Minions. They were the actual leaders of these operations. In the past, red and black Minions also existed. The Minions were made in black, red and yellow, inspired by the Weimar Republic flag, but many of the red and black Minions, if not all of them, died in conquering Poland and France. And this is why mostly yellow minions remain today. Well, this leaves us with a question. What happened to the minions after the fall of Berlin? Well, well, many don't know about it, but after the fall of Berlin, the minions were taken prisoners of war by Comrade Stalin. And Comrade Stalin, being resourceful and seeing the potential of the minions, sought their help in running the Gulag. So why did the minions hid this history from us? Well, are, there are two main reasons for that. Firstly, they wanted to put all the blame on the SS and the SA, as they ran away to Brazil. Also, it has been revealed since 2006 that the actual reason the minions wanted to hide this part of their history was due to a bloody civil war, which, as 
as you can imagine, was so catastrophic for their kind that they actually banned it from being brought up ever again. During the civil war, there were two main factions, the pro-Hitlers and the pro-Stalin. The minions could not decide on which side they should fight for, and at the end, they decided to open their own country in South America. This country is called today Brazil. This is why many SS officers led to Brazil after the war. So this is the answer to where were the minions from 1933 to 1945. If you are still watching this video, I ask that you leave a comment and also like and subscribe. Because then there's a bigger chance that YouTube will actually recommend this video. A slim chance, but still there's a chance. So anyone that hears this, please comment minion down below. Or uh, some, some other funny comment, I don't know. Bye.